Hey guys, Ben Simpson here at Simpson Plays, and welcome your faces back to Starfield. In the last episode, it was a hectic and crazy fight against Terramorphs. If you haven't seen that one, please do check it out. Terramorphs themselves showed up on New Atlantis at the spaceport, wrecked the place, took over people's minds. That's right, mind fucking control. Couldn't believe it. It was insane. Well, in this one, we're going to be continuing on with that on a diplomatic mission. So sit back, grab a snack, or a drink. If you feel most importantly, have fun, like, comment, subscribe down below, hit the bell not forget to keep to everything here on Simpsons Plays. The links in the description for TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, and also Simpsons Vlogs, SimpsonsPlays.com, and of course, my Twitch, Simpsons Go Plays 13, where you catch all this live. Don't follow this when I'm streaming and what I'm streaming, and of course, don't forget you can subscribe, support me financially as a streamer if you wish to. Well then guys, we are going to be talking to that Deputy McIntyre, so sit back, grab a snack, or a drink, kick a few, most importantly, have fun. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, like I said, ha ha ha. Right. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. She I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre. Very serious. Chief is seen second in command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. Y yeah, so that you can not on me. The president wants us to get you into the Armistice Archives ASAP. So, we've got no time to waste. You know what the archives are, correct? Yep. Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So, then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Is he original? Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one time use code from each of the three armistice signatories UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people. The ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun to hand over their codes. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. Uh Electrodes are too for sure. <laughs> uh, <dear. laughs> it won't be. Both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't. Work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Okay, who you come want on. To start with Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun. No, Varun guy's crazy. Tell me about Freestar. Ah, the good Ambassador Ratcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> but my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Okay. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Oh, snicker, snicker. Oh, snicker, snicker. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Yes. Many. Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong, we'll do our best to smooth things over. But I can't make any promises. All right. Okay. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up. You're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. Okay. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. 
When the rest of House Baroon retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmor stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Baroon thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. <laughs> uh... Oh dear. It does, but there's a concern. We're not 100% sure Balmor is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare, but it's been several years now since he last... Oh, for fuck's sake, of course. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. Okay. The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the embassy. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish, making it hard for us to verify what's flora and what's ambassador. I have no doubt. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Damn it. All right, so we're going to start with... There's something I'd like to discuss. Yeah, what's up? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, Held it in your hands for the first time. How did you feel? No, no, I, yeah. I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Uh... Raw energy? I've never heard that one before. I shouldn't be surprised. The artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. Nope. Oh. If there is, the artifacts are doing a heck of a job hiding it. The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. I don't want anything to reach out and speak to me anymore. Terramorphs are... Fucking enough. Uh, yeah. Is there? <laughs> After spending years gathering data about the artifacts, you'd think I'd have all the answers. No. Um. Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and. Wild theories. Fair enough. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, wealth. An explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. Well. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk. And for keeping an open mind. And... I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Girl, as soon as I get another companion that's better than you, you're getting removed. I can't stand you. You're always disliking everything I do, even if it's logical. I really can't stand the guys, I'm sorry. Like... She's just like, 
she didn't want to open the archives. There was a terror morph attack out of nowhere. What do you mean? I don't understand why you wouldn't panic and try and open the archives. I just don't, I, I just, oh, I hate diplomacy and bureaucracy. I hate it so much, it's so long, for no reason. All right, so what are we doing? What are we doing, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, okay. This isn't gonna be easier. We need our best persuasion face on. Three star collective embassy. Oh, okay. Okay. There it is, Free Star Collective. All right, let's go on in. Let's save it here. Hard to believe it's been two decades since we were at war with the Collective, but it seems like only yesterday. Well, don't steal anything apparently. Visitors are only allowed in the lobby, offices, or conference room. That means you. Sounds like it was a real mess down at the spaceport. I'm going to be up front with you. I'm not happy visiting anything related to the Freestar Collective. But you lead, and I'll follow. So yeah, what are we supposed to be doing here? All right. Acquire the uh, access code. So, I assume this would help us get to certain places. Official business? Terrible. Talk to the ambassador. All that security and still be able to get their own space You see, we never fail to I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain. I don't think I'm allowed up here, am I? Am I? I'm this bit. Sorry. Everyone's a little on edge after the attack. Guests can make themselves comfortable in the lobby. What does it say? Employees only be on this point, yeah. So I'm not allowed over there. I'm allowed here. I can look. I haven't passed the eight, so I can look. Okay. You're allowed three places conference room, lobby, or the ambassador's office. If you set foot anywhere else, there's going to be problems. Guests can make themselves comfortable in the lobby. What's down here? Can I go down here? Am I, am I, I don't know if I'm allowed down there. Where's Mr. Long? I want to talk to him. Does it say employees only be on this point? Am I allowed in here? Am I okay? Okay. I think I'm okay in here. Can't go in here. Trying to figure out where I can and can't go. Oh, that's a start. You're allowed three places. Conference room, lobby. That woman is an absolute. Oh, sorry. Right, oh, he's a disgruntled employee. You're the Vanguard captain, right? You know, I was about to board the Nat to the spaceport when the alarm triggered. Sounds like I got real lucky. And like I've got you to thank for things not being a lot uglier. Oh, yeah. Well, then you have my earnest thanks. But, but look, they said you were coming here on official business. The ambassador likes to handle all that personally, even if he does have trained diplomats here to help her. And I don't want to get shipped back to Aquila City, so 
you should probably go speak to her. Hmm. You want to work with me? I. Why don't we talk somewhere uh, a bit more private? Okay, where are we going? Move! Who knows where that goes? Shit, the best of an air. Okay. So you want me to work with you, but why now? Why me? Oh, no, yeah. I, I think that's a pretty safe assumption. And no other city should have to go through what happened here. So then, uh, what would you need from me? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, we can't even quick save it on. Right, let's, quick, let's, let's quick save it. I don't know what options we have here. No. What exactly would the UC want from me? The code machine? Only the ambassador's cleared for in there. Sorry. Her quarters. Huh. Well, that's doable. And you and the UC will be providing me with what for my services? I can spare a thousand credit. I thought you were looking to hire me. I'm not taking a bribe. Oh, okay. Really? Uh, okay, uh, you've got yourself a deal. Okay, so there's a utility corridor that leads to the ambassador's quarters, which you can access through the main conference room. Here, the key. Whatever you do, don't let the guard see you entering or exiting the utility section, or you're gonna be in serious hot water. I'll, uh, I'll keep an ear out for more instructions from the UC. Now that is how you do diplomacy. However, I don't know if that's gonna come back to bite us in the ass. Is that gonna come back to bite us in the ass? Because we didn't clear it. I don't know. Right, let's unlock this. Let's let's start exploring, shall we? This is okay. What are you doing, Aya? I wish you could do like stealth knockouts in this game, man. Because I just knock him out, throw him in the bin, and be done with it all.
Don't want to talk to her. Okay, that's the door to go to the utility thing. I'm gonna go downstairs and lock that other door down. You gonna bug her off? Yeah? Yeah? Right, quick save. He can't see me, can he? I don't know. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> okay. Nope. So that one, so that would do that. Nope. Huh, we need one that does both. Oh, there. Alright, next. Oh, it doesn't go the way around that. Why are you? Oh, not you. I want to quick save it again. Come in here. Close that door. Oh shit, that's the code generator! No, I don't think we want to do that, do we? That's... What are you doing? Are you stupid or something? What's wrong with you, girl? Someone could have seen you! Can we just activate that and do shit with it? Oh my god. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the best course of action here. I need to get out of this room. Right. If all else fails, we can do that, but I don't think that's the best course of action here. Hello. You saw nothing. Good. Not smart enough to realise that we've opened the door. <laughs> Alright. Then there's you. Oh, okay, I mean, use the intercom. Sorry, everyone's a little on edge after the attack. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. You just keep, keep going, keep going, leave. Leave this room, please. No, don't go over there. Yep, yeah, leave this room. Leave this room. I could have, I could have just done the machine thing, but I'm not doing that. But now, now where? Oh my god, what are you doing, Sarah? She's gonna get me caught, isn't she? It's 
something you need? I'll be right here. Yeah, stay, stay there. Just stay there. Jesus Christ. Oh God, where am I? Where do I need to go? I don't know where the hell I am. Oh, I don't know where I am. Oh shit! Don't think I'm supposed to be in there. Let's quick save it again. I don't know where the hell I was just then. Okay. Now where am I? I don't think I'm meant to be here either. Which room am I supposed to go to? What's it? Ah. Close this just in case. I'm just stealing everything, aren't I? Right, this is the sneaky sneaky episode. This is the sneaky sneaky. Okay. Interesting that. Oh, got to use. Nope. 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 Means it's only can be you, right? Yes. Yes, okay, we're almost in. Wonderful. I heard. How is she still talking to me? Alright, let's quick save it again, because I know I'm going to get caught. I don't, I don't understand this, so I've come into this, right? And it's telling me that I, I hate the fact I've got two things on white. Show the map. Local map. Can you just not show me the local map? No? Okay, apparently not. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, guys. So this is where I came from, isn't it? Like, here. I've gone here. Oh, 
Oh, this is the right room. All right, okay. She wrote, murder. She wrote. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, 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 well. We got ourselves a murder. I don't know if I'm still trespassing. That's the problem. There's someone in that room. Alright, I don't think anyone's there now. Oh, what? Contraband chest. Let's see what's in here. I'll be quick about it. Oh no. Oh no, I got it wrong. I think. No, I didn't. Not yet. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. I got some good shit there. That was some seriously good shit there. Right. Now, gotta stand tall. Didn't see me. Brilliant. Keep moving. Just keep moving. Awesome. Right. Oh. Oh, some tense moments there. Hello, hello, hello. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? I do, you redneck. <laughs> ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. I was you indeed. My thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Uh. You need to help us, otherwise any more deaths are on your Excuse hands. Excuse me. 
A less level-headed person might think that was a threat, Captain. The only threats you're facing are the eight-legged variety just outside your door. Now, can we please stop playing games here? Lives hang in the balance. A lecture in morality from the UC. How quaint and short-sighted. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? Ha! 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 Oh, bitch, you made the mistake! Excuse me? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. No, no. If the council found out, I'd lose my position. I'd be exiled. Oh, I'd be a terrible shame, wouldn't it? I believe we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. The issue at hand is one of trust, no? So perhaps if I can trust you to keep this little secret between us, then maybe we can find a way to trust the UC with access to the archives. Oh, that would be lovely. I think that's fine. No, I'm going to be a dick. Good. Good. I appreciate you working with me. Just like I'm sure our great powers will. In fact, I think there's an opportunity here. Keep both our factions happy and ensure an air of legitimacy to the whole proceeding. I can only let you get the information on the Terramorphs. Anything else and people will get suspicious. And all research will need to be monitored. Free Star Scientific Observers making sure everything's being used for the right purposes. But those two items should be enough to allay any suspicions. Uh, yeah? Yeah, well, that'll be a Good. dick. Good. Okay. Let's go get you your access. Tell me it should only take a moment. And there. Here you go. Uh, I hope that'll be enough to maintain your discretion. Where? Oh no, don't tell me she's still in the fingers. We've not told her to, to move. Maybe she'll come with me if I just leave, because she did that before. Alright guys, that was a longer, more tedious episode, and it was all about being the snicky snicky. <laughs> don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Oh, she didn't come with me. Damn it! I knew I made a mistake not telling her to come. <laughs> Oh, bless me, hold on. Let's pick her up before we end the episode. Where, 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 where is she at? 901 though. Where is she at though? Can I help? Excellent. Alright. Let's keep moving. Okay, we're done. We're done and we're out of here. Oh, like I said, it was a bit more tedious episode. We did a sneaky sneaky, a lot of lock picking, a lot of stuff like that. And we've got some just reward for it. I can't lie, we've got some contraband and stuff that we need to go put away somewhere, to be fair. I mean, what other stuff do we have? We need to sell some stuff. So I'll do that um, with the stream off, off YouTube camera. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification to keep doing everything here on some some players. And of course, don't forget to check out the links in the description for TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter on the Sinsome Vlogs, and of course, my Twitch, 
Simpsons Go Plays 13, where you catch me live. Drop a follow there, see when I'm streaming and what I'm streaming. And of course, don't forget, you can subscribe, support me financially as a streamer if you wish to. Until next time, guys, we're going to try and get the House of a Run access code, or archival code, should I say. And I love you and leave you. Peace.